You don't even understand how much I need this coffee right now. All will be explained. Hello and welcome to Bookstation and welcome to a Thursday Tales and Unboxing. Um, so to start with, I'm going to tell you a little story. Um, I don't know how interested you'll be, probably not very, but, so the thing is, from my place of work to town, uh, which is where I get off and get another bus home, um, usually takes, the journey usually takes about 10 minutes, um, but today there were roadworks in the town centre, um, so we were stuck on the bus for about an hour, um, like I said, whereas usually it would take about 10 minutes, um, and yeah, by the time we got to where the roadworks were supposed to be, there were signs saying and roadworks expect delays. Um, but we saw nobody doing any roadworks at all around that area, but they'd still merged two lanes into one, which created the traffic problem. So that was annoying. But anyway, <coughs> moving on. So um, I'm going to start with something um, different. So I recently read... Night Owls by Jen Bennett, or The Anatomical Shape of a Heart, which is what it's called in the US. Um, I have read this, um, I just haven't reviewed it yet, um, and I thought it was brilliant. So I tweeted the author, because I don't read a lot of contemporary, and this is a contemporary. Um, and yeah, I tweeted the author and I said, oh my god, I love your book, it's amazing, do you have any swag you could send me? So she sent me... A little postcard but it is signed it says to Lee at the top and then there's her signature at the bottom like I said it's called the anatomical shape of a heart in the US so this is the US cover um yeah and on the back she's written thank you for reading night owls hello from the US which I thought was oh I'm gonna cover my dress which I thought was really sweet of her so thank you to Jen for this I will be tweeting uh, a picture of it and thanking you on Twitter. Um, and then I'm going to start with an unboxing. So I got home and uh, there's a package waiting for me. Um, and it's from... I don't know if you could tell. There's the little bear. It's from Walker Books. So I'm going to open this first. I think they reused... An envelope that had been used before because it's all sellotaped. So I'm literally just gonna. Okay, I'm not gonna rip it. There's a little tiny tear at the top here, so I think I know what this is. And if it is what I think it is, I am very excited. Oh my gosh, it is. Yeah. This is what I've been waiting for. So, Walker sent me a proof copy, I think, of The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. It's a beautiful paperback with an amazing cover. Um, yeah, and this is basically... You know you read all those stories about um, people who become heroes of stories and stuff like this? Well, this is the story of... Mikey, and he's one of the people in these stories who's not a hero, um, and that's what the book is about. And I've heard a lot about Patrick Ness. Um, I tried to read The Ocean at the End of the Lane. No, sorry, that was Neil Gaiman. Um, I've tried to read a couple of Patrick Ness books, but I haven't been able to get into them. Um, but when I heard the synopsis for this and the hype surrounding it, I really wanted it. So I emailed my contact at Walker, and he said he would send me a copy. And he has, and I'm very excited to read it. It says, not everyone has to be the chosen one. The one who's supposed to fight the zombies, or the soul-eating ghosts, or whatever this new thing is, with the blue lights and the death. What if you were Mikey, who just wants to graduate and go to prom before someone goes and blows up the high school again? And what if there are problems bigger than this week's end of the world, and you just have to find the extraordinary in your ordinary life? Even if your best friend might be the god of mountain lions. 
So I've heard that Patrick Ness's writing style is a bit weird, but it's fine. I don't mind. I like a bit of weird. So yeah, thank you to Walker Books for sending the rest of us to live here to me. I'm very excited to get started with that. Um, yes, and now moving on to the actual Thursday Tales. So the book I'm currently reading is The Walled City by Ryan Groudon. Um, I am just under 100 pages, uh, literally 90 pages. And I just want to start off, well actually, yeah, I'm about 90 pages, I should have said it's about 400 pages. Um, I just want to start off by saying this book is amazing. Um, I'm not reading it very quickly because I'm not a quick reader, but what I mean by that is it's so brilliantly written that I don't care how long it's going to take me to read it, even if it takes me five months, which I know it won't. But I mean, like, the writing is just so beautiful that I really don't care how long it's going to take me to read it. I just want to make sure I read it completely, if you see what I'm saying. And yeah, it's just, this book is amazing. Um, it follows three different people's perspectives, uh, Dai, Jin, and Mei Yi. Um, and they live in this place called Hacknam, or the Walled City, um, which is just uh, just next to a rich province. Um, or like, it's it's based in the back of the book. There are, sorry, I'll explain myself. In the back of the book, there are pictures of the author, if I could find them, um, with like models of the place that this book is based on so basically ryan Groudon went to this place in china um and there are the remains of this place called the walled city um and nobody knows much about it um but she based the book on what she thought might happen might have happened in that place i know that doesn't really make sense but i will explain more when i've read it and i do my review but like i said it's brilliant so far, I'm loving it, um, and yes, so that's what I'm currently reading. So yeah, that is it for today's video, thank you for watching. Um, let me know if you read The Walled City, if you have, what you thought about it, um, or if you're interested in reading it. Um, and yes. That's it from me. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. If you liked, please give it a thumbs up. If you wish, you may subscribe. And I will see you again shortly. Goodbye.